Hashem used Derech Eretz as his guide in creating the world. Therefore, said so the name of the Shabbat before Shavuot, the day on which we receive the Torah, should be called Shabbat Derech Eretz, the Shabbat of proper conduct. This Shabbat is also Shabbat Bamidbar. The fourth book of the Chumash is called Numbers, or Bamidbar in Hebrew, after the two censuses, or population counts. So it a rush called that Nisrael, the Mifchatam, the Beit of Tam, and the Mispash Mat Kozachar, the Gitta, um, Miben, a Swim Shana, Umaleko, a Sight to the Abbey's Sight of Kudu, a Talit for Tam, a Tov, the Haran. These are the details required for the census at the beginning of our weekly portion. When Ben Israel were just freed from Egypt, and all Shatim were equal, and no one had any special status other than the obligations of the Levine. Twenty-five Prakim later, however, after Meraglim's refusal to conquer Israel, after the different rebellions against Moshe, culminating in Prince Zimri ben Sadon's um, shameful public behavior, a second census is ordered. But you will notice that the identification of each Israelite by the the purpose of the census is different from the way it was in the previous one. As it says in, in Bamidbar, Perek Hafav, Pasukbet, count the heads of the entire witness congregation of Israel from 20 years of age and above with their household parents, everyone eligible for army conscription. The first count included the families, including tribal connections, the household parents, and individual personal needs. The second time, the Tribal connections and the personal names were excluded, providing only the names of the household parents of the, each in, individual. Yaakov blesses his grandchildren, the sons of Yosef, that they shall be called by his name and the name of his ancestors, Abraham and Yitzhak. This is not only me naming them Bob, George, and Fred, but much more importantly, it means linking them to the ideals, values, and commitments passed down from the Avot and Imot and teaching and raising their children which, with the promise that their children would inherit the land of Israel, would eventually succeed in conveying to the world God's message and blessing of morality and peace. By disconnected from their past, they lost their future. They did not even merit individual names, names which could only be counted if they were linked with the proud names of the founders of Jewish eternity. My parents chose me to to name me Avital because my mom was due to give birth on Yom in 2000, which was the 52nd year um, anniversary of Medina Isra. Avital and Gumachir is 52, and they didn't want to call me Kalev or Libi. Through my name and experiences, I've come to learn about and love being here in Israel with all of you. I want to thank my parents, mom and dad, for raising me in a Jewish environment with their hearts and a love and appreciation for Israel, and also for paying for my day school education, my summers up in Yekiba camp in Achsif. I want to thank my brothers for putting up with me and my friends and all my attempts to wake them up and get to school early. <laughs> <laughs> a year ago on Purim night, my grandfather and mayor passed away and I never got to meet my father's dad, Saba Harry. I've learned valuable lessons in Derech Haaretz and how to act from watching my grandfather from my mom's side, both my grandfather, both my grandfather and Saba Harry I am told were immigrants to the United States. They were both known for being humble, caring, and had great love for Eretz Yisrael. I'm sure that my grandparents are proud of me and will be even prouder when I will be able to live in Israel in the not too distant future. I know some of you are betting my dad that it will never happen, but I'm putting my money with my dad. I want to thank all of you again for sharing and celebrating my Bat Mitzvah here in Yerushalayim. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.